Hello, boys and girls. Back into the void because because there's a dragon too. Well, not technically a dragon, but a big creature who does lots of damage. One of those to slay. And also. I would like to stop by stop by uh, Miss Cleopatra's and uh, and donate some uh, some violet for her. Because I know that soon I would have to pass through the chamber that she's guarding. Oh, it's feast now, huh? Okay. So that's again another chapter, I suppose. Visuals in this game are sort of um, a remix or uh, or an interpretation of a different kind of art that is still recognizable, like the Egyptian-ish figures here. And at the same time, it is not the sort of uh, theme park version of the said art, like uh, like so many. Conventional games do it. So it is. Uh, it rings a bell, and yet it is. Uh, it is new.
Oh good, it hasn't regenerated. <laughs> this, that's good. Uh, this means I'm gonna step outside and make a save. A quick save will do. Thank <laughs> you. 
Why cut it? <laughs> Whoa. Bait. This glyph creates a static golem from dead roots that will attract small creatures from the farthest corners of a reservation. The glyph requires a lot of color and the golem will not live long. Oh, OK. 
Okay. So I already have the next task, which is a big one. So Ayer is the one with the Rococo Garden. Ema, I don't know her, and Ely. I think I can manage uh, feeding her now, so I've already given her some. Okay, yeah. Move past her. Okay, see. Let her with her. Is that one? She's the one that I should eventually get to, and she's the new one. I think I wasn't able to fill this tree.
I should check out the mine that uh, Una, Una, Una has. Visit the sisters, young one, and scare them, <laughs> lest they get carried away with their rejoicing. They act as if lympha will now flow into their veins by itself. They're hungry and miss the old times. And I am old, and thus merciful. But not all brothers are like this. For these reasons we have agreed to some new rules, but the sisters will not like them. We know this about them. Since it's best not to give them a chance to complain, you need to remind them that our patience is already sorely tested. They need to get used to seeing you as a brother, especially the elder ones. Just don't become too involved. Remember, they're taboo. Taboo me here. You need them just as much as they need you. Okay, still have no idea how to get up there. Also, there doesn't seem to be any any uh, action mining to do. Cordian thingy in place. Oh well, there wasn't any harvest anyway. Not for now.
But I have some. And maybe she has information. Thought there was 
Ashley. She's not here. Is she in here? What? What have you done, Golden Eyes? You're the only seeing one here. And what are you using your eyes for? How can you fail to see that you're ruining the void as you pass? You treat us so callously. <laughs> Each sister is only a set of new chambers to you, where you can find more color for your mindless trick. Don't you understand what color is for? Each drop you use irreversibly changes the void. You're creating for yourself a new life. Do you even know where you're going? You must send us all into the cold hands of death, yes. But you, you can change everything. Brothers are right, you know. Listen to your mentors, young Ignoramus. You don't know how to use color. Ima hasn't revealed the secret. Why are you growing gardens? Why are you breaking the rocks in search of deposits? To feed yourself, right? And what do you need this food for, soul? The predators you create will simply take your color away again. And the more you strain the realm, the more predators you create. And the less color you will get from the trees and the rocks. I kind of got that, Jim. Okay, let's see. Take the rest of the ember. matter to life. Yes, the color can do miracles. But you don't need to be a genius to spray Nerva around. You're wasting your time on trifles, lost soul. A revived garden is beautiful, but not for long. Don't tempt color. If you use too much in one realm, the Scorpio Come. Uh, uh... It will punish you for your mindless waste. It will kill the trees that have revealed themselves and trusted you.
Naive brothers guard the sisters and their realms. They don't even understand how they're all connected. The more you take from a realm by giving, the weaker that brother keeper will be. Because when a dream withers, so does the fear. Maybe that's the only good thing that has come of your glyphs. damage the realms equally, and there's some wisdom to that. The donor has almost no effect on the realm, but using color to battle with predators is more hurtful. Should you give color to a sister? Well, <laughs> you'll leave that for another time. The most damage you can do to a realm is to battle with its keeper. seven colors and that they don't like each other the sisters can tell you how different they truly are you see each sister has her favorite colors the ones that love her the ones that she'll use to create a new life in the upper limit for some reason these colors ruin our realms faster than the colors that kill us stuff that they don't want uh, it doesn't bring much damage and if I grow the stuff that I do want for a given realm then that's bad somehow so basically you would have to grow one sister's uh, feeding stuff in another sister's chambers maybe <laughs> okay this was complicated crushed. Uh -huh. Okay, so even if the game didn't crash, 
crash. I think I need some uh, time to process the new information. And also visit some of the earlier areas and see if there's something I, I left undone there. So at the moment I'm gonna stop here. So bye bye and see you soon.